and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start a new chapter, chapter 8, Physical Optic. So in this video, we are going to discuss 8.3, Interference of Transmitted Light Through Double Sleep. Okay, so the equations that we will use for this subtopic, okay, there are three equations. So the first one is y equals to m lambda d over d. Okay, so this equation is actually for a bright fish. And the second equation is y equals to m plus half lambda d over d. Okay, so for this equation, it's actually for a dark fish. Okay, and we also have another equation where y, delta y equals to lambda d over d. Okay, so this equation is actually is for two consecutive fridge. Okay, so the third equation is actually for uh, two consecutive bright fringe or for dark fringe. Okay, so let us start with the example one. In a young double experiment, the slip separation is one millimeter. The distance between the slip and the screen is one meter. The wavelength of the sodium light used is 5.9 exponent negative 5 cm. Okay, so number one, calculate the separations between two consecutive dark fish. Okay, so when you see this word consecutive, okay, meaning that we want to find delta y. Okay, so delta y because it's two consecutive, so we will use delta y equals to lambda d over d. Okay, because we know that uh, usually the fringe separation for two consecutive bright or dark fringe, uh, the difference is actually one lambda. Okay, so here you either you can write one lambda or you don't need to write. Okay, just want to let you know that uh, the fringe separations between two consecutive, okay, uh, dark fringe or bright fringe usually is one lambda. So we substitute in the value. Lambda is 5.9, exponent negative 5, and in cm. So we must convert it into meter. Okay, D is the uh, slip separation to the screen, so it's 1 meter. And uh, D here is the slip separation is 1, negative 3. Okay, therefore, delta Y, we will get 5.9, exponent negative 4 meter. Okay, so this is the free separation between two consecutive dark fridge. Okay, next. If the sodium light is replaced with the blue light, what is the changes to the interference pattern on the screen? So we want to uh, find out what is the changes. Okay. So sodium light is actually uh, usually sodium light is yellow. So the wavelength of the yellow color okay, is actually greater than the wavelength of blue color. Okay. So how we know is actually we can use the, the rainbow color. I'll start with red, orange, yellow, green, blue. Okay. So from here we notice that. Uh, the wavelength of the yellow color is actually greater than blue okay because the greatest wavelength is red color and then follow with the orange color and then yellow color green after that blue okay so that's why the wavelength for yellow is greater than a wavelength for blue color okay so from the equations delta y equals to lambda d over d okay d and d actually is constant because the uh, the apparatus setup of the apparatus is still the same okay therefore we know that actually our delta y is directly proportional to the wavelength okay so since the wavelength of the yellow is greater than blue therefore the screen separation for yellow okay, is actually greater than fringe separation for a blue color okay meaning that okay the interference pattern of the screen if let's say we replace with the blue light okay so we say that the fringe okay the fringes will get closer to each other okay to each other okay because our delta y is reducing okay when lambda blue is replaced so because lambda blue is smaller than yellow therefore our fringe separations between the fringes will reduce huh? therefore it will become closer to each other okay next example two in a young double slip experiment when a monochromatic light of the wavelength 600 nanometer shine on the double slip, the fringe separations of the interference pattern produced is several millimeter. Okay, if another monochromatic light source, the fringe separation only five millimeter. Okay, calculate the wavelength of this, uh, this second light. Okay, so meaning that if we use, okay, if we use the first uh, wavelength, uh, 600. Okay, for example, this is our fringe separation. Okay. Okay, this is our central bright so if we use okay so if we use lambda 1 600 nanometer okay we found that the free separation here 
is seven millimeter. Okay, but if let's say we use the second wavelength, okay, this is the central bright. Okay, we found that actually the Y2 here only five millimeter. Okay, so we want to find what is the value for lambda two. Okay, so as we know. Uh, if you follow the equations y equals to lambda d over d, okay, where we know that uh, d the screen separations between the screen and the slip, and the slip separation here is constant, okay, meaning that the apparatus is still fixed, okay. So our y is actually directly proportional to the wavelength, okay. So for case two, when y is reduced uh, from seven millimeter reduced to five millimeter, we notice that actually lambda two is actually smaller. Uh, Okay, lambda 2 is actually smaller than lambda 1. Okay, so we need to prove it or we need to find out what is the value. So we can use y equals to delta y equals to lambda d over d. Okay, where y is several millimeter. Okay, equals to 600 nanometer. Okay, so nanometer I convert it into power of negative 9 d over d. So this is the first equation. Okay, then the second equation is delta y2 is equal to lambda 2 d over d. Okay, so delta y2 is 5 millimeter. Okay, it's equal to lambda 2 d over d. So this is the second equation. Okay, so we can use ratios to find d eh? or if you don't want, you can find out first what is the value for d and then you substitute inside the second equation. Okay, uh, okay if let's say we use ratio, meaning that we will use equation 1 over equation 2, where 7 exponent negative 3 over 5 exponent negative 3 equals to 600 nanometer d over d. And the second equation is lambda 2 d over d. Okay, so actually we can cancel off d over d. And then negative 3, negative 3, we can cancel. So finally, lambda 2 is equal to 429 nanometer. Okay, next for part B, how would you expect the interference pattern of the double slip experiment to change if white light? is used instead of monochromatic light okay so if we shine the white light into the diffraction uh, into the double slip actually it will form rainbow color okay where this one is a red color and this is a violet color okay so why red color is at the top because the wavelength of the red color is the greatest one okay therefore why for red color will be greater than the others okay so what we can say is if the location of the bright dark fringe actually it depends on the wavelength okay now because we know that it depends on the wavelength huh, from the equation okay so therefore if the white light is used in the double slit experiment so this bright fringe it will show huh? okay so you can write that each bright fringe okay with difference lambda okay it will it will separate okay it will separate it into different okay different position okay it depends on the wavelength huh? okay therefore it will give a rainbow effect okay so if for example red color wavelength is the greatest meaning that it will be at the top okay for violet, wavelength is the smallest, therefore Y for violet is at the bottom. Okay, so it will form seven color, it's like a rainbow color. Okay, next example number three. The double slip pattern is viewed on the screen one meter from the slip. The third order minimum are 25 cm apart. So this third order minimum here is actually for both sides. Okay, for both sides. So this is for both sides. Okay, if let's say this is our central, right? Here we have third dark. Okay. So we have a third order minimum. Okay, third order minimum meaning that M is equal to okay here, third order because of the word order, okay, M will equal to three. Okay, and the words minimum meaning that it's actually a dark fringe or destructive. So when M equals to three, actually it's equal to fourth dark. Okay. And similar at the bottom here, we also have fourth dark or M equals to three. M equals to three meaning that it's actually third order minimum. So the question mentions that third order minimum are 25 cm apart so this 25 cm is actually equal to 2y because y usually we will take okay from the central bright okay so our 25 cm here is actually represent 2y 
Meaning that for Y, for destructive or for dark, is equal to M plus half lambda D over D. Okay, so our Y or the frame separation here, okay, we substitute 12.5 only because 25 is equal to 2Y. Okay, therefore Y is equal to 12.5 cm. Equals to N because the question mentioned third order, therefore M is 3 plus half. Okay, lambda we don't know, D is 1, and the free separation we don't know. Okay, so we refer back to the questions. The question asks us to find the ratio of the wavelength and the separations between the slip. So, meaning that we want to find the ratio of the wavelength over the slip separation. Okay, therefore, lambda over D, okay, wavelength over slip separation is equal to 3.57 exponent negative 2. Okay, and there's no unit because both unit already cancel off. Okay, next, B, the distance between the first order minimum and fourth order maximum. So again, when you saw this order, meaning that M is equal to 1, okay, minimum meaning that it's dark fringe, okay, fourth order meaning that M is equal to 4, and maximum meaning that it's actually a bright fringe. Okay, before we start to calculate, we look at here first, we want to find the distance between, okay, between first order minimum. First order minimum, okay, is actually second dark. Okay, because we know that m equals to 0 for first dark, m equals to 1 for second dark. Okay, m equals to 2 for third dark, and then m equals to 3 for fourth dark. Okay, and so on. So we know that actually, first order minimum is actually second dark. Okay, so we want to find second dark, and also fourth order maximum. Fourth order maximum here, okay, is actually equals to m equals to 4 well, because we know that when for central bright m equals to 0 first bright m equals to 1 second bright m equals to 2 third bright m equals to 3 therefore fourth order maximum is m equals to 4 or fourth bright okay so distance between fourth bright and first order we want to find what is our delta y okay we want to find what is the delta y so what should we do is actually we can find okay we can use fourth dark okay we can use y4 minus y1 okay so when we take y4 minus y1 we will get delta y okay so we write delta y is actually equals to y m equals to 4 for constructive of the bright fringe minus y m equals to 1 for dark fringe or destructive okay so when for constructive we must use m lambda d over d destructive is m plus half lambda d over d so we substitute in 4 lambda d over d minus 1 plus half lambda d over d. Okay, so since lambda d and uh, the slip separation, okay, we are using the same thing. Therefore, we can factorize out lambda d over d, 4 minus 1.5. Therefore, equation will become 2.5 lambda. Okay, where lambda here we don't have, okay, but just now we already found lambda over d. So we can substitute in lambda over d is equal to 3.5. 57 exponent negative 2 okay so we substitute in 3.57 power of negative 2 and the screen to the slip huh, is equal to 1 meter therefore our free separation between the first order minimum and fourth order maximum is 8.93 exponent negative 2 meter okay next we'll go to proceed to example 4 Example 4, a monochromatic light with the wavelength 600 nanometer fall on the system of the double slit of the unknown slit separation. At the same time, double slit is illuminated by the monochromatic light of unknown wavelength. Okay, so over here we have lambda 1 and lambda 2. Okay, it was observed that fourth order maximum of the unknown wavelength overlap with five, fifth order maximum. Okay, so find the wavelength of the unknown wavelength. So now here we have uh, two wavelengths, okay, two light that shine on the same apparatus. So here, the keywords here is overlap, okay. If you shine lambda 1, 600 nanometer, okay, we found that actually here is fourth minimum, sorry, fourth maximum, okay. So meaning that we will get fourth bright, yeah, or M equals to fourth, okay. And in, if let's say we shine lambda 2, okay, that lambda 2 we don't know, we found that actually we will see a fifth order or fifth bright yeah? fifth order meaning that m equals to five okay at the same location meaning overlap okay overlap here meaning that our y one is actually equals to y two okay if you shine lambda one six hundred you will only see four bright 
if you shine using the second light you will see the wavelength uh, lambda 2 so it will observe fifth bright on the screen and fourth ma order maximum and fifth order maximum is actually located at the same point how we know because of the word overlap okay so because of the word overlap okay therefore we notice that y1 is actually equals to y2 okay so we substitute y equals to lambda d over d okay lambda 2 d over d okay so since uh, m lambda sorry m lambda d over d okay so since d and the strict separation d similar therefore we can cancel off so we substitute in m lambda for the first wavelength we observe 4 so 4 lambda 1 equals to 5 lambda 2 okay where lambda 1 here is actually 600 so i substitute 600 nanometer okay therefore our lambda 2 we will get 480 nanometer okay so if you refer here when you shine 600 you observe 4 when you shine on 480 nanometer we will observe 5 okay because of the formula here y is equal to lambda d m lambda d over d okay so since d and d is constant okay and y same therefore our m is actually inversely proportional to the wavelength okay so if you see on the screen we saw five bright fringes meaning the m is increased therefore our lambda will reduce uh, if you compare with uh, lambda one okay that's why we only get lambda two is only 480 okay whereas lambda one is 600 okay so lambda two is 480 meaning it's smaller than lambda one Okay, next we go to example 5. The above figure shows the two coherent source S1, S2. The separation S1, S2 is 3 mm and to the screen is 2 meter. The frequency of the light is given 6 exponent 14. So number 1, calculate the wavelength of the light used. So since this is the light, so we can use C equals to F lambda, where C is actually a speed of, okay, is speed of light. Okay, so 3 exponent 8 equals to frequency 6 exponent 14 times the wavelength. Okay, therefore, the wavelength of the light is equal to 5 exponent negative 7 meter. Okay, next, find the separations between two consecutive bright fringe if the experiment is carried out in the air. Okay, so when you see this word, consecutive. So usually, consecutive meaning that it's possible. Huh? Okay, so it's usually it's different 1 lambda. So the equation we can use to find the fringe separation is 1 lambda d over d. Okay, so we substitute in lambda is 5 exponent negative 7. D is the separation between the screen and the slip, so it's 2 meter. Okay. D is the small letter, so it's 3 millimeter. Okay. Therefore, the screen separation between two consecutive bright fringe is equal to 3.33 exponent negative 4 meter. Okay. So that's all for this video. See you on the next topic. See you. Bye.